Hey everybody, Ultimate Oddball here, and welcome to part 15 of Stardew Valley. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Ah, maybe I'll go to the beach. Get my speedo out. Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. Get out of here, fly. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Sweet. Thank you, spirits. I like spirits. I like wine. Well, some wine. White, white wine, not as much red wine, but... I also like, uh liquor, but I don't think that's what they were talking about. I think they were talking about, like, ghosts. It's a ghost! Oh, no! Hey, cool dog. How you doing, buddy? Looking good. He's been working out, I can tell. Alright, uh, let's pop the sword back. Don't have too much going on here. I got a... Looks like I got an extra glow ring. I already had a couple of those. The slime's out of here. Fiber for some reason, I've got a bunch of uh, sap, emeralds, yep, good. So I got a few things from the underground, I gotta take that to the, uh, to Clint, have Clint break the stuff open for me. Is that, no, not that either. Gold, no, that's my other, other box, isn't it? This one? No, that's the trash box. It's fine, I have some, thought I had some trash, nope. Alright, so once again, my wonderfully organized boxes. At some point, I'll reorganize them, but you know how it goes. You know, you mean to uh, get everything all organized and just put it off and, you know, somewhere that goes. These go there. Okay. Okay. We're good. Let's do this. Let's go take care of all the animals. Hey, Sanders, looking good. X, nice to see you. Farm's looking okay, although might have to start upgrade. Don't you dare try to eat that cherry. How dare you? Might have to start upgrading a little more here. Oops. Let me get this out of the way. If there's uh if those spaces are covered, the trees won't drop any fruit, so definitely important to make sure that those are not covered for your fruit trees. I've got kind of a minimalist approach here. I try to like, you know, be one with nature and my uh, on my farm and, you know, respect the land. Respect the land that provides me with a comparable salary to, uh, well, I'm more than comparable. I mean, I think I'm doing pretty well as far as the people of Stardew Valley. Clint might be doing all right, but I don't know. There can't be that much of a profit margin on, um, <clears throat> on uh, iron and copper. I mean, it's got to go into the mine to get those. And I don't think he's doing that unless he's got some type of industry going with uh, with uh, the Adventurers Guild guy, whatever his name is. Maybe uh, they got some kind of deal going on where he gets uh, Clint's the the iron and the copper that he needs and the gold, and then in return, Clint you know buys it off of them and. You know, I'm not quite familiar with all the the economic uh, interchanges around going on, you know, the commerce and all that. I'm still getting accustomed to Stardew Valley, and I'm not the most sociable person in the world. I mostly just stick myself on the farm and do my own thing here. You know, get my food growing, get my stuff all moving and shaking, whatever that means. Drop these eggs off, drop the milk off, drop the resin off. And the cherry wine will keep as a gift. Alright, let's head to town. That was a pretty good time. Nine, oh, wait, I gotta check these. Damn it. Alright. Oops. No. And I don't mean damn it, because it's always good to see... It's always good to see crops come up. But... I'll still make pretty good time. Are these... Oh, these are done, too. These caula cauliflower. Nice. That took a, it took a little while to grow. Took a little longer than I would have liked, but that's alright. 
Things don't happen in the time that you want them to happen. That's not how the world works. It's hard to dial your in real life, I've learned. I have a lot more stuff to pick than I thought. So yeah, I would like a mod where I can hire an assistant. And also, they'd be like, you know, kind of funny. Maybe like a new character. Maybe I'll just do it myself. I don't know. I've been looking a little bit at how difficult it is to mod Stardew Valley, and it's really not that hard. <clears throat> Mostly just, uh, I'd have to do a new pixel for a person, but, and then add them in, and add in a bunch of, like, dialogue and stuff, but as far as, like, being able to hire them, I wouldn't know how to do that. I'd probably have to look that up more, because that's, like, a little more advanced, but, like, the basics, the basic modding stuff isn't that difficult. Just get a uh, program that makes it easier to modify pixel art, I'd recommend. That way. I mean, you can do it in Photoshop too, but it's a little bit easier if you have a program that's already set to do it. Alright, so how did I not notice how much stuff was done? These are all done too, all these pota potatoes. Alright, got it. Nope, yep. Good. All right, I pulled all the crops. Two. It only took me two hours. Drop them all. Crap. Okay. Oops. I need more. Uh, like I clearly need more space for all this stuff. Okay. No, that's pretty good. I got. Yeah. Actually, let's grab the cherries back, and I think I got a couple kegs open here. So we definitely want to get that going. I always have things going in the background. I like to do that. That way uh, things are always happening at the farm. Then I just kind of leave that to go do other things. And Oh, that looks interesting. Let's do that. Oh, oh a book. Sweet. I'm sure eventually I'll get some type of reward for finding all those books. I found quite a few at this point. I mean, well, not. I wouldn't... Maybe quite a few, uh, an exaggeration. I found a, a handful. A little over a handful. Hello. I'm feeling an urge to go shopping. Oh, I wish there was a mall here. Yeah, me too, I guess. I don't know. I don't really care. Alright, have a good day. I'm not really into the mall. It's kind of sensory overload for me. Like a lot of autistic people, uh, to be too much noise and there's different stuff going on at all at the same time and it's kind of overwhelming. <clears throat> oh, she's very angry. Make sure your boots are clean before you go stomping around in my house. I've never been in your house, Pam. I don't know what you're talking about right now. Maybe you could clear things up. It's annoying to clean a mess. You should know that by now. Pam, again, I'm, I'm not sure what you're referencing, but um, I haven't I've never been in your house and okay yeah go uh, go walk it off or something that's I don't know what's going on with that my arms are real sore but that's a sign of progress for a guy like me that's a sign of progress for anyone any human being Alex I'm pretty sure I think that's how muscles work I must have done a thousand push-ups yesterday <laughs> yeah oh okay okay yeah, I'm sure, oh, uh, no, yeah, I'm, totally, I'm sure you did, definitely. He was a, he's the guy who told me the other day that he was doing one more than, one more each day, so that means he started one per day, and then went to two, and then three, and then four, and then five. So he's been doing this for quite a few days now. I mean, not, not a thousand, obviously, because it adds up as exponentially, but. I'm here to collect clients of business tax. Oh, well, thanks for letting me know. It doesn't really seem like my business at all, but um, it doesn't seem like it would really... I'm here to... Oh, okay. I'm here to... Oh, okay. Are you all right, Lewis? Are you doing... Are you okay? Okay. All right. Did you see that, Clint? He just, he just kept repeating himself over and over again. I think we need to... I think we might need to talk to his doctor and get some... Uh, some uh, tests done. It's scary. That's scary stuff. Star shards. I think that's a new thing. I don't remember getting those ever. 
and iron ore. That's not a new thing. I'm very familiar with that. All right, have a good day, Clint. See you later. Always good to see Clint. I like Clint, I guess. I don't know. He's all right. He hasn't offended me yet, so that's... The library is one of Pelican Town's greatest features. It's funded with the taxes we collect from local business. Um, I hate to break it to you, Lewis, but I've put most of the stuff in here. And I haven't been paid a penny. I've gotten some weird rewards, like a skeleton of an animal. The library... Okay, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. Uh, okay. Okay, hang on. Nope. Yep. That one down there. Okay, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Oh, I don't have a voice for Gunther, because he, like, never talks. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? I'm Gunta. I run the museum. I'm Gunta. Alright, that was not... I apologize if that was offensive. That was like a really bad like German-Austrian accent. Which is ironic that I would do that badly because I'm a quarter German. So, you would think I would be better at that. I'm Gunta. I'm, I'm Gunta. I am from Germany. No, see, that's bad. I don't know. But my grandma doesn't talk like that, so she she has a, a very different German accent, which I won't try to to uh, recreate. I not I've I've not practiced German accents enough. I probably need to practice more of different European accents, because if I tried to do like a Swedish accent, it would be similarly offensive. It would be like uh, the Swedish chef from from uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> I think that's probably yeah. I think that was a character. I don't know now. I always get confused about things. I'm constantly Googling things, like common expressions and like things, and fact checking myself. Because I get confused, so. I like having the internet there, just to uh, check real quick. But I do that with like common phrases. Make sure I know what I'm saying before I say it. Alright. All right, partner. We're gonna keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. Get the sh get that shrimp. Jeez. All right, let's go see what uh, Fisher Fisherman is doing. I still don't remember his name. I always forget it. No, he's not here. Door unlocked. He ain't here. What you doing, bird? Is that a is that a thing? Get out of the way. I can't tell if that's a thing. No, I would have gotten a, I would have gotten a little, so yeah, when you see those, I t I've talked about that before, I think, the sink, sinkholes, is that what they're called, sinkholes, no, yeah, oh, huh, you probably wouldn't like it inside of my cabin, it's dark and full of spiders, it's dark and full of spiders, it's, uh, what? 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 Huh? Okay. I don't, I don't... What? What did he say to me? He said I wouldn't like it in his cabin because it's dark and full of spiders? Okay. That's really weird. Like, I'm a super awkward guy. I say strange stuff all the time. But even that is like, even I think that that was a weird thing to say. Like, why does he live with a bunch of spiders in a dark cabin? Is he a vampire? Like, what is happening? That doesn't even make sense. Spiders and vampires. If the local fishing... No, that's not right. If the local fishing scene got a bit more lively, I might expand the shop stock. I might expand the shop stock. If the local fishing scene got a bit more lively, I might expand the shop stock. There we go. Willie should be like super, super psyched about anything fish related. Like anything fishing, fish shop, any of that. Hey Clint, how are you doing buddy? Uh, everyone seems a little happier on the weekends, don't you think? I'm on the job seven days a week, though. Yeah, that's weird, Clint. That's weird that, uh, God, sorry, Lewis. That's weird that you would say, okay. That's weird that he would say that because it seems like every day when I come to town, he's just kind of standing around. He's just standing somewhere. 
And then, like, that was the first time I've seen him actually going around collecting the taxes. But how often can you collect taxes? I mean, that's like... Usually that's like a once a year thing, but I guess maybe it could be quarterly here. Like once a season. I don't know. I've never paid taxes. Am I supposed to pay taxes in this game? Am I uh, tax evading right now in this game? Is that what's going on? Because it seems strange that I just realized that my character here has never paid any taxes. Let's get that out of the way and that cockle. Yep. Whatever that is. Oh, no. Give me that. That's trash, but I don't want to try to sell it because they're not going to give me any money for it. Alright. The rest of the stuff can stay in the inventory. We'll head to the underground real quick. Hand sweating a little bit here. Alright, so yeah, there will only be one Stardew Valley video this week because uh, i got a couple new games, so I'll be adding, I'll be changing up the rotation, but still be one Stardew Valley video every week for a little while here while I make my way through the game some and then see what happens. I have everything I need to survive and more. Nature plays a wonderful tune if you can only learn to listen. God, that is a beautiful thing you say, Linus. Every, he's like, man, this guy... He's always got some type of just wonderful, beautiful sentiment. I also spent a lot of time reading. One of the reasons I stopped in the valley was for the great library. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, I've heard of it. Mostly because I supplied quite a few of the books. But I don't want to brag or anything. I just found them in the ground underneath some worms. So, you know, nah, that's not too big of a deal. Forge leak. Eat it. Eat that leak. There we go. Alright, level 90. I forgot how far down I was here. Let's see. Maybe I can get a little farther. Out of my way, Rock. Alright. Copper? Nope. Yep. That was a new sword. That critical. That critical was 100. That's a huge difference. I guess that's uh, worth the offset, the speed. What is that, a mushroom? Oh! It's like Woodstock. Purple, oh my gosh, it's a purple mushroom. I've never even seen that. Oh, and it's gold. Wow, 225 energy. I can probably make something really good with that, like a mushroom stew. Like a fabulous mushroom stew. Today, on the Cooking with Ultimate Oddball show, We'll be making a wonderful mushroom stew. I do like, I actually like cooking, which usually I guess surprises people, but um, because I'm allergic to garlic and it's in like everything in America, like everything prepackaged um, has garlic in it usually. And a lot of the time it doesn't even say it because it doesn't have to. And so like years ago I had to start making all my own food just to make sure I didn't get sick. Because, like, I don't know if you know too much about food allergies, but it can be, it can do a lot of damage. And, it like, make you sick for a couple of days and, you know, all sorts of nasty uh, gastrointestinal effects that I won't go into detail. But, so, yeah, I had to learn a long time ago to make my own food and stuff, which is good. It's a uh, healthier, I guess. Seems to surprise people. Another glow ring. Alright, I didn't really need that, but that's fine. I'm finding these ladders super quick. I like that. I'm all, at least one level off of the, of the next. Oh, and this one looks like it's got a ton of rocks. Oh, wow, that was good. That was really good luck. Okay, thank you. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I do not want to die down here. Please don't let me die in an underground cave. Oh, we got a bunch of coal. Alright, I got some food on me, right? I did not... Okay, there we go. I knew I brought something. I knew I kind of brought that on accident, but it's better than having to drink my, uh... My, uh... Wine. Oh, I should have given that as a gift to Linus. Damn it. How did I forget to give him a gift? I love giving him gifts. We're really good friends, me and Linus. 
He kind of he kind of trusts me. I don't want to brag, but you know, it's, you know, he trusts me more than the other people in the in the town. Linus likes me better than he likes the other people in the town. So, you know, I'm not saying uh, I'm not not bragging or anything, but it's it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> All right, we're almost done here. Almost curfew time. Head back. Don't want to be out too late adventuring. You know how it goes. Got more farming to do tomorrow. What do I got in this old chest? I haven't been checking this thing lately. Another glow ring. That one looks different from that one. Oh, that's a small glow ring. Okay. Uh, I guess I can just try to sell those, but there's probably not too much of a point to it. Like those dwarf scrolls too, those don't really have any effect, or don't have any, uh, they don't make any money. No, go away. Go away, fly. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Alright, heading home, heading home in Stardew Valley. Looking out for monsters. No, just kidding. There are no monsters above ground in Stardew Valley. Go away. Go away, Flank. How dare you? You're interfering with my with my interneting. My interneting. My internets. Uh, do I have any fruit on me? No. Let's go sell some more of this crap. This carpe. Carpe diem. That means seize the day. Oh, I can't even sell the glow ring. That's disappointing. Cherry wine, blackberry wine. It's blackberry wine. Okay. Now we're good, I think. I think we can go to bed. Hey, cool dog. You doing okay? How dare you. Alright. Alright. So we'll go ahead and wrap up the episode there. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for coming by. Have a great day. Hey everybody, Ultimate Oddball here. If you want to stay up to date with my videos, click subscribe. I release a new video on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I do gaming commentary and review. I talk about my experiences on the autism spectrum. And I share my opinions and thoughts on a variety of matters. My hope is that, through my videos, I can help to dispel some of the misinformation, confusion, and negativity people have regarding autism. Thank you for helping me do that by watching these videos.